Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, Avi Pro Powerlifter Lou. Hello. <laughs> We're going to talk about, in response to reaction, commentate, stitch, duet, real hashtag remix of y'all's comments on the new bench rule. Check out the video if you didn't check it. The IPF made a new rule that basically has a bench depth, talking about elbows to your shoulder. And some of y'all came real sassy. <laughs> Real sassy at us. And we were just giving our opinions. And and I think blanket statement, I don't want to speak for Avi. We were just saying that if you look at the top lifters across the sport of powerlifting, not IPF specific, I don't think this rule change is one um, good in application for the judges itself. Uh, we can look and talk about and address things that has to do with excessive arching, sure. But this rule I don't think fixes that. And then also I think that it punishes larger people with small arms that don't arch at all when we're trying to address the arch. So that's basically the points we were getting to in the last video. Um, but y'all came real hard at us, like we're some arching motherfuckers. Neither of us are affected because we don't compete in the IPF. And neither of us are affected because our bench don't look like that. I arch, but I think I still pass the shoulder elbow thing. I think most people which is, do, yeah, which was our yeah. freaking point. Isn't that we disagree with excessive arching or, or agree with the arching? I think we're both pretty neutral on it. Uh, some people are very anti-arching and some people are pro-arching. The other one, the majority comments, we're going to dig into the actual comments in a second, was about, um, oh, well, are we trying to test strength or skill and technique? Which is just the dumbest statement I've ever heard because in every sport, every test ever, there is skill and technique. Are we, are we gonna um, test who runs the fastest or are we gonna wear cleats and actually pump our arms, cheaters? Let's run with no cleats and no arms. <laughs> like yeah. a fucking penguin. <laughs> <laughs> That's how penguins run. <laughs> Point is that there's a skill in everything we fucking do. Let's dive into the first one. Bruh, how sorry are these cheats that they have enjoyed the free ride so far? God forbid they bring some logical rules to make it more fair and make it more about strength and less about cheating techniques. That's, okay. That's like the whole argument with sumo and conventional is what I think about. How it's like, well, some people are weaker when they pull sumo. So... Isn't that gonna say, are you gonna, can you make the argument that conventional's cheat? Right. Like that kind of thing. Right, if you're a bigger conventional puller, yeah. then you're cheating. And it's like, who are so you So John Hack's say? cheating. Yeah. He pulled 900 conventional. Yeah, so, and like, cheater? Lo, or low bar is cheating because John Hack squats high bar. John so, Hack's a cheater overall. Yeah, why It's mostly we, John's fault. Yeah, it's all John's <laughs> fault. He's creative. He also fault. benches 600, cheater. Yeah. <laughs> He's got big arms, big deltoids. But it's like, is low bar cheating? Because it's easier and most people can squat more when they do a low bar. Look, dude, I'm a college dropout. Okay. And so I don't always play by the books. Mm -hmm. But last time I checked, cheating by definition means you're going against the rules. And sumo's allowed. So then... But that's what I'm saying. Like, should it not be allowed anymore? Because it's like... Because these pussies? Because yeah. these YouTube pussies? Yeah, but that's what they're saying, right? It's like, um, it's cheating, um, and and now we're making it more fair by adding these rules. It's like, well, should we add a rule so that people can't sumo and low bar anymore? Well, maybe, because that's what Womp has to say here. Yeah, I don't get that. Ho, 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 cope harder. Sumo should be banned next. First you yeah. should say no one will be affected, then you say big guys with normal form mm -hmm. will have a change their form. Just pure coping. What does that mean? I don't know. What does pure coping mean? I don't know. Coping normally means that you do something to deal with an issue, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I uh, can't find a wife, so I cope and adopt 20 dogs. Mm. That's coping, right? Yeah. But this womp here, my British friend, doesn't have a clue what coping means I because think... it doesn't affect us. Yeah. We're just commentating it on the rule change. It doesn't affect us. Yeah, we are not in the IPF. We don't compete in it. No, it affects fucking ten percent of anyone who bench presses. Le yeah. It affects one percent of people on less than one percent of the world that bench presses is affected by this rule change. We were just bringing it up for discussion. And then we're saying like, if you're trying to get rid of arching, this rule does not necessarily affect those who are arched. That's the freaking because point. there are people who could still arch and get past this rule. And then there's people that don't arch at all and will be affected by the rule negatively. Yeah. So right. It's like, so you got small, you got small uh, uh, biceps and, and small forearms and big boobies, mm -hmm. male, female, anybody boobies, any kind of boobie, <laughs> and you're not gonna reach that thing. Yeah. Because yeah. now I'm touching at the top of my tee top. Yeah. So if I touch good. at the top of my tee top and I'm on some double D's, now 
I get red lighted? Yeah. Because I'm well endowed? Mm -hmm. That's fucked. <laughs> but we're negatively affecting the people who are we're not meant to be targeted, right? Or addressed. Right. right. You know, so. They're a byproduct of the shit rule. Yeah. It's just not a great rule. Well, Julius Maddox lifts 795 pounds, no arch. With an arch, you're not lifting if you're strong, then the rules shouldn't affect you. How is it that you're not lifting if you're arching? What are you doing then? No, Julius Maddox lifts 795 pounds, no arch. With an arch, you're not lift. This dude has no periods, no commas going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep talking with no pauses. <laughs> um, Julius Maddox is the current king of the bench. Yeah, he's very strong. And what the fuck does that have to do with this? Yeah. I saw this guy who was benching like crazy amount and his feet are just moving everywhere, right? He's like moving the entire time. I'm like this kind of goes against what we learn in powerlifting to like build tension, drive with your leg. You shouldn't have that much movement, right? Yeah. And I'm like, how is this guy benching seven, 800 pounds for triple? And he's like doing all these things that we were taught not to do or like that we, we learned that weren't efficient, you know? And it's like, oh yeah, I'm not him. I can't. Bench. You're not him. You're yeah. not that guy, pal. It's like I don't. I'm not blessed with that kind of strength, so that my form can be like his, and then I could still lift a, a heavy amount. People are trying to take like the individuality mm -hmm. out of sport, yeah. but that's like saying like, oh, LeBron James doesn't go in the NBA because he's six eight, six six and under only. Like, what? What's the point? The point is that we want to watch the best do the best they can, mm -hmm. right? We don't watch the Olympics to to watch some people who are slow. We want us the fastest motherfuckers on the planet race each other, right? Like, what's the point here? Here's another one. Mr. Lubers. I'm done with accents. Sorry, guys. <laughs> they were. To counter the no pause in, in the squat argument, let's add a pause in the squat. Because there is a pause in the bench, judges literally have no more time to judge depth. Add a pause to the squat. I think that's so dumb because the difference is... Yeah, there's some benefit from a rebound in the squat. Some people yeah. get it in and out of the hole really quick and, and, and lift more weight. But uh, there's tons of world record holders, people at the top, that control the squat both ways and just reverse out of the hole and don't really hit the, the hole that hard, mm -hmm. both in wraps and knee sleeves. The difference is in the bench press, you get a large advantage from bouncing it off of your sternum. Mm -hmm. That's why there's been a pause from day one because they want you to control the bar rather than bounce it half the way and then just have your triceps lock it out. They're just totally two different movements with two different leverage points. Um, I don't think people, and who knows, because these are YouTube comments, right? Everyone's anonymous. They got little fucking anime avatars or SpongeBob avatars, so I don't know who the hell we're talking to. But I don't think people that compete in the sport at a high level or hang out with real, the real culture of the sport make comments like this. Yeah. Like again, Jamal pulling 1,100 pounds in the gym. Yeah, it's in the gym. Yeah, it's grips. Yeah, it's sumo. Who gives a shit? I think it was Furman. My dude's like lightweight, world's strongest man. And he comes out saying basically, and in strongman, it is illegal to do sumo, right? Mm -hmm. And the yeah. biggest pulls ever have been done by strongman, Eddie Hall and, and Thor, right? Yeah. Over 1,100 pounds. And now Jamal's doing it sumo. He comes out and says, who cares? Like, you're not going to be impressed? Like, that's so strong. Yeah. I don't care where his feet are. That's He's moving 1,100 pounds, you freaking idiots, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, it's kind of like, let's pay attention to what matters here. And I think what's more important in the sport of powerlifting is that we're pushing the limits and handling the most amount of weight possible. That's why it's powerlifting. Mm -hmm. If you want, like, the pure skill, maybe Olympic weightlifting or something, right, where there's more speed, more agility, more technique, there's still technique over here, but we are moving the most amount of weight within reason. Yeah. So let's, like... Let's soak that up and kind of play to our strengths. That's the strength of the sport. Mm -hmm. So why do we want people to lift less weight? Right. That's not fun. Let's make it tempo and deadlift. Yeah. Pause, pause yeah. deadlift. Yeah, we're going to have a timer and you're going to have to, it's going to be like musical chairs and you're yeah. going to have to fucking bench press to the sound of the mm -hmm. song three the seconds down. Yeah. yeah, that's stupid. Strap the lifter to the bench <laughs> like they do with the Paralympics. Judging it. is easy and there's not a lot of wiggle room. Yes, pun intended, to cheat. Now, Honestly, of all the comments, that's the least ridiculous to me. If we really want to do that, as long as it's standardized, I don't care. Yeah. But if you're going to throw a person in a straitjacket, it's not going to prevent a bench. It's not going to help the range of motion. Mm -hmm. Someone else came at me today and said, uh, why don't we measure the range of motion you have to move in a lift? And I'm like, one, how do you physically measure that? You're going to have mm -hmm. a tape measure or a laser set up. Like, the sport's already more boring than, than it needs to be. Let's add more semantics to it. Mm -hmm. And then again, you're taking away the individuality of the sport. Yeah. You want to see the best do it. So we're not going to let you compete because you're kind of short and yeah. you're good at sumo? Like, that's stupid. I want to see someone your size, small, work hard, and lift a shit ton of weight. That's what makes this fun. Mm -hmm. 
or if it's a certain amount, I mean, is it like once you get past a certain point, you don't have to lock out all the way because right. you already like, you know, completed the range of motion qualification? Yeah. Yeah, to my chest to here, six inches, yeah. that's all I got to do? And like bench six inches is all that matters, I was told. <laughs> <laughs> What's and so funny? Nothing. Bench press, too, like if it's if it's all about strength and like how strong you are in your chest, then let's just have our feet off the ground. Yeah, let's just do let's dumbbells. Do press. Oh, yeah, and or dumbbells. And hammer strength. Larson press or something. It's like, why do you need your legs? You technically don't, like, you don't need your legs. It's cheating. There's no it's sport that, like, measures that. Because, so like, even in Strongman, right, we're doing a bunch of different stones for time. Why don't we just move one stone? And why isn't the stone the size of the pyramids or so? You and know, why like, is, it, is it usually a ball, like a sphere? Yeah. Yeah, why isn't it a cube? Yeah. Can why can't we move a triangle ball? Yeah. Or a triangle stone. Mm -hmm. Or a triangle, it, pyramid shaped. Nothing is it, Sir, like a cylinder. Yeah, or, or it, honestly, if you want to measure like pure power and stuff, yeah, we do a med ball toss, which is like a toss for height and strongman stuff. Like mm -hmm. the point is like these are sports; they're established for a reason. The squat, bench, and deadlift have been around for centuries for a reason because they are the three lifts you can move the most amount of weight with. Mm -hmm. So why don't we allow a little bit of technicality to do it? And yeah, I'm not saying to have no rules, yeah. but until I see every single local national and international powerlifting meet won by someone who arches an obnoxious level i don't personally find it an issue mm -hmm. like that guy's example the best bencher in the entire planet right now in the history of humankind is julius mattis by pound and he doesn't arch at all mm -hmm. so you're telling me arch is a problem right yeah so why is it a problem why is it a problem i'm a problem where can they find you dude uh instagram at avi.lu and twitch and Twitch Ooh. at Avi Lou, A V I L I E U. New videos every Monday and Thursday. Appreciate y'all. More stuff coming. Comment below what you think, even though I don't really care if you have a dumb <laughs> opinion. If you got a smart opinion, I might care and I'll comment back. Um, I'm going to go lift right now. And full day of eating on the way next week. I'm going to film it tomorrow. And uh, thank you guys so much. We'll catch you in the next one.